Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be for Nia Long and her partner, Ime. Now it's interesting, right? Because like, as I sat down to do this reading, I was picking up on a shit ton of energy, being indecisive, um, her being weak. Not just that, she wants to separate herself from him, but it's hard on her that she can't. It's like a melting pot of pain that she's dealing with. It's kind of just like issues that she hasn't worked out from insecurities, from past situations. She's dealing with a lot, like her self-worth. And it's a real sort of just like agitating vibe because she's really agitated, you know? Like I pick up energies even before I like touch the cards and stuff. And the vibe is one of agitation. She's really agitated. So let's see what's going on with her spiritually. What can we see? I'm going to ask questions about the relationship, but let me just pick up her spiritual vibe. What's going on with her? This desperation definitely caught my vibe because that's the energy I'm in. Not just that. She's trying to make sense of what happened. This logic and reason is the energy of hopelessness. You see this image, right? Of this figure here, this person being hopeless not just that you see what it's standing on it's um foundation not being legit being broken so for her her foundation is off she's trying to make sense of foundation that's not legit from the start so it's showing me that she already had problems with this um relationship you know what i mean she definitely definitely been had sort of just like problems with this relationship not just that, she's feeling really hopeless at this moment in time. Desperation as well. She's a desperate person. You know what I mean? She's learning lessons during this time with this uh, 33. It represents divine lessons. Not just that, it's also an energy of sacrifice, of letting go. She needs things to let go. You know what I mean? You see how like this dude's here basically having just like... <laughs> this thing like disappear <laughs> into the wind you know what I mean it represents like letting things go you know and it's against her will too it's kind of just like even if she doesn't want to she's gonna have to let things go like it's gonna be taken from her you know what I mean so that's what I'm seeing but there's an energy of desperation you know she wants to hold on to things that's a real painful time for her like intuitively, because I don't just like read tarot and energy, like energies actually come to me, you know what I mean? And I feel things. I'm feeling pain. It's a sensitive time for her. Not just that, with this um, saving humanity. She's a real caring person, you know what I mean? She's uh, selfless. That's what I'm getting with this. She's a selfless individual. <laughs> it's a lot of S. <laughs> in this situation that's why I like pause this is like how am I gonna fucking say it it's like weird <laughs> but yeah she's um selfless that's what I'm seeing with this uh saving humanity you know what I mean she's all about charity she's all about helping people she holds that close to her heart you know but at the same time it does make her weak though and it definitely makes her weak though not just that she's it's a it's a time where she's understanding herself and she's understanding this Ime guy. It's deep because it's like what happened took her by surprise. And I'm going to be looking into that to see like what she knew if this was an arranged situation. But what I'm seeing thus far is that it's kind of like it took her by surprise. That's why she's like ins inspecting this situation. She's like, damn, dude, you did me like that. Like, she's seeing things for what they truly are. You know what I mean? She, like, she's seeing life through, like, a truth lens. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing thus far, you know? Her trying to put the pieces together, things not being legit. Her being um, desperate, you know what I mean? Having to let things go. Her being a person that, like, cares about humanity and shit and want to help. Not just that. It's kind of just, like... 
she's seeing herself for what she truly is and she's seeing her partner for what he truly is now then that was like her spiritual situation now let me see like what's going on with her in an earthly sense what can we see regarding this situation what is going on with her in an earthly sense what can be shown to us regarding this situation well she definitely wants to go not just that how the cards are shuffling it's kind of just like she's all over the place on some real shit from like anger one minute like she really hates him and want to hurt him one minute she's calling him back like hey like what's up like trying to talk to him it's a lot of things going on but let's see what's up Uh, she's worried about her family. Not just that. She's worried about her sort of just like stardom. You know what I mean? She is a celebrity with the star being here. But the tower. You know what I mean? She has to let that go. That perception. That's what's bothering her and her family. She's concerned with her family. You know what I mean? The Ten of Cups represent your family. You know what I mean? She's concerned with her family. She's concerned with how people see her. Not just that, it's despair here with this two of cups, love loss. You see this, right? How the two cups are on the floor. This is a bad two of cups too. So it's really deep because this represents her situation, right? Because it's kind of just like, it's not two people sharing a cup, like trying to get to know each other and share love. This is a situation of kind of just like things are broken, not just that, the hermit is showing me that she's really in her feelings at this moment and she's trying to process things. And that popped up with sort of just like the spiritual deck about her just like trying to like put the pieces together and figure out like where things went wrong. She's still on that vibe. Like that's her whole situation. So that's what she's in at this moment in time. Now I'm going to ask like, what did she actually know? Like... Was this an open arrangement? Like, and I guess I can't say a marriage because I don't believe they're married. But was this like an open relationship or, you know, like what went down? What can I see regarding this situation? All right. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, so the parrot's here. <laughs> you guys know, like for people that seen like a lot of my readings in the past, the parrot for me, it represents deep things, right? It kind of represents, I know it's about like gossip and shit, you know what I mean? Not just that, not only is it about gossip, it's about colorful situations, having a colorful life, you know what I mean? Kind of just like things not being conventional, you know? I usually say it's the card of like being a swinger, <laughs> like you see my Megan the Stallion readings and shit like that. So I mean, I'm not just saying that because it's this situation, this is actually what this card always represents uh, for me, even without, like, the commentary in the top. So, I mean, it's really deep. It's really deep. One more card. All right. So, let's see what's up. No, this took her by surprise. This shit took her by surprise. This cheating. And you seen how that card, I believe, like, when it did come out, it tried to show, but it just like fell face down so it's kind of just like what that indicates to me is that she had her suspicions she definitely had her suspicions but at the same time you know what i mean it took her by surprise you know what i mean with this stuff being here not just that this whole colorful situation this is a deep situation right because it's kind of just like what's being shown to me intuitively is that they kind of had an open relationship in the past. That's what I'm seeing. They had an open relationship in the past. But it was kind of just like, okay, are you done? It's like she gave him time to explore and find himself. Like, she's a real charitable person. But it can almost be like foolishness. But what I'm seeing is it's kind of just like, okay. Like, I gave you like time to like do your thing. Are you ready? And he was just like, okay. But it wasn't so <laughs> he was still doing his own thing not just that it was a lot of mystery in this situation it was a lot of mystery in this situation this mysterious situation not just that this death being here so i mean it's kind of just like 
hidden situations. Hidden situations. That's what I'm seeing. But at the same time, though, she still cares about him. She still has compassion. You know what I mean? And this is going to sound gross, but it is what it is. She still craves that physical touch from him. So, I mean, she really cares about this guy. But to be honest, it's kind of just like she didn't know this wasn't an open marriage this, or open relationship. They had that in the past. But what I'm seeing is, is that, like, she gave him time to do all that. And he was supposed to be committed. But he had his own things going on in the shadows with this vampire card. Let's see. What else can I see regarding this situation? What else can we see? Wild card. This situation is unstable or was unstable. You know what I mean? With this unpredictable. Not just that. This man, he has a lot of needs with this multifaceted energy. That's what I'm seeing. Like stimulation. He likes being stimulated. What else can I see? Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go right there. You know what I mean? With this community, this polygamy. For him, he needs that stimulation. This is deep, guys. You see how the cards, like, speak and, like, show what's going on and the energies. This is really deep. Like, I love it for me. Like, I love doing this shit because, like, the energies are so deep. You know what I mean? And I love picking picking up energies and shit. <laughs> this is weird because I really do love, like, picking up on energies. But anyway... <laughs> Like, it's deep because it's kind of just like, he needs stimulation. He needs stimulation. Not just that. It's kind of just like he's all into polygamy. He likes having multiple people. And I don't know why it's phrased this way, the energy. Because I'm not getting multiple girlfriends. I'm getting multiple wives. This guy, he believes in multiple wives. And that's how he's seen his shit as well. So, I mean, don't be surprised if, um, like... It comes out that he has kids with other women because it's deep because it's like it's deep because I don't even know like what went down in their situation to be honest with you but what I'm seeing intuitively is that he has a long-term relationship with multiple females that's what I'm seeing that it's not just her like it's other people going on he has like a harem or something <laughs> so it's really weird that's what's being shown to me but to be honest, no, she didn't know. She did have her suspicions, though. But, yeah, she didn't know. This caught her by surprise. Very deep. <clears throat> so now I'm curious to see, how is he doing? What can I see as far as how he's doing? What's going on with this Ime guy? This rebel. He's fighting. He's a fighter. And he's, like, vicious about his shit, too. Like... They're trying to chain him down. He's kicking the chains. Chains. <laughs> He's like, fuck that shit. Y'all ain't gonna tie me down. And obviously it would make sense because it shows that like he believes in like having multiple partners and shit. So why would he like hold himself back, you know, with dealing with people? So I'm seeing that he's kind of just like, fuck that shit. So he's trying to hang in there, trying to be strong, trying to be a rebel. Not just that, this trust. You know what I mean? He's kind of just like, what can I do? That's what he's telling himself. He's kind of just like, it is what it is. He's like, I can't stress about it. I can't cry about it. It is what it is. I just have to trust the process. Not just that. You guys know what I say with this card. Again, this is like one of those cards that like, if you follow like this channel and you've seen a lot of my readings, I repeat it all the time. And the reason why I repeat this is because I do get like a lot of different subscribers. And I know that not everyone's seen like my previous readings. So how would they know? That's why I always like repeat this shit so people understand what it is. That I'm not like just speaking out of my ass. But this card represents kind of just like. Kind of like basically having a shady lifestyle. Kind of like doing things in the dirt. In the mud actually. Because the lotus uh, grows in mud. So the mud represents kind of just like. Things being dirty. Things being shady. You know what I mean? It's mud. You know what I mean? Secrets. Duality. He has a lot of secrets, this man. He definitely has a lot of secrets, and it goes deep. It's not even, like, just a cheating situation. He has a whole life worth of secrets is what I'm seeing. Not just that, this conditioning. He feels like life kind of just, like, tries to hold him back. And it's deep, because you see this shit, right? You see how he's a rebel? 
and you see this particular card, right? Him being tied up again. It's kind of just like, for society's sake, for his lifestyle, you know what I mean? It's like he has to pretend like he's like everyone else. But deep down, he feels like he's different. He feels like he's a lion. He feels like he's a king. He's just like, yo, I believe I should have like multiple wives and shit. Like I shouldn't just be stuck with one person. He's like, but the world is stupid. They're sheep and I'm a king. I'm a lion. So, I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I mean, that is really deep. So, let's see. What else can I see regarding their situation? Let me use this deck. Pisces, there's a duality in this situation. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to offend any Pisces. You know, it is what it is, though. Like, if you know about, like, esoteric astrology and the hidden shit. Every Pisces are bipolar. There's different sort of just, like, levels and stages to, like, how Pisces can be bipolar. But every Pisces are bipolar. You know what I mean? So I'm seeing an energy of kind of just, like... This relationship rocks her to her core. She doesn't really know what to believe. This guy, he's smooth with his words. Not just that... What he believes, he likes to radiate that into his partners. So it's kind of just like, he was telling her some shit. You know what I mean? That's why she has to work things out. She has to be like, okay, like, what's real? Like, what's truth? Like, what is my truth? It's kind of just like, she lost herself being in this relationship is what I'm seeing. What else can I see? What else can I see about the situation? This protest. She got warnings. I actually did um, a reading for... Um, what's that lady's name? I just did it. Um, actually, I did it yesterday. Um, Jackie Ina. <laughs> this is another like deep card because it represents kind of just like warnings. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like things have been brought to her attention. Like, yo, you know things aren't right, right? Like, that's like the vibe I'm getting. There's been warnings, red flags. What else is going on? This tiger, he's really smooth, though. I mean, it is what it is. The tiger is a sexy energy. This guy, he's definitely, you know what I mean? Like, he got him licking his tongue and shit. You know, he uses his sex appeal. And to be honest, I think that kind of looks like his eyes almost. <laughs> so it's kind of just like he definitely uses that sex appeal. And it's funny because the card landed on a Pisces card. So it's kind of just like he does. Like, it's like one minute he's cool, right? He's soft. He's affectionate. He's like a real humble dude. And then he switches up. And then he's kind of just like, no, it's going to go this way. And when I say it's going to go this way, it's going to go this way. And you're going to do this. It's like that sort of vibe. And it's the sexual energy tied in with this. So, deep. What else? Confinement. They both feel trapped. He feels trapped. She feels trapped. I mean, it's not a good situation. Good news. There's good news coming. What is this good news about? Is it legit good news or is it bullshit? Let's see. What is this good news about? I'm going to get a clarifier for this good news. What is this good news about? What can we see? Justice. Justice is coming. Justice is coming to this situation. So, I mean, there is going to be some justice to this situation. The cards fell out kind of funny. The vibe that I'm getting, how it's kind of like almost sideways but didn't make it. It's kind of just like, she should know better. That's what I'm getting. She should know better. So it's kind of just like, yeah, justice is coming into this situation. But it's kind of just like, uh, you should have known better. And you should have did better. That's what the energy is telling me. Not just that. This devil. This restrictions. Their situation is filled with restrictions. Not just that. If you look at this scene. This scene represents almost kind of like... Um, a cancerous situation. I'm talking about actual physical cancer, not the sign cancer. Because it's kind of just like they were here burning all this sort of just like um, waste from like electronics and shit. And what that does, that creates like fumes and that creates cancers and it's going to lead to problems down the line. So what I'm seeing is the good news is that this is definitely going to help their situation because they were both living a cancerous sort of just like lifestyle situation, especially for him. 
because it's just like, you know, he's a weirdo. It is what it is. And I'm not judging. It is just like, you know, it is what it is. Like, obviously, he's like a weirdo and shit. Like, he believes in all sorts of shit. And so this is kind of just like some humble pie for him. Not just that, this movement, chariot. Things are going to get done. This was a stagnant relationship. Obviously, like, we obviously know that shit. You know what I mean? They've been engaged now for years. I don't know if they got secretly married. <clears throat> but things obviously been stagnant. With this chariot, is showing me that there's going to be actual movement now. And if you look with this six of swords, it'll definitely be movement. But this is going to be dangerous movement. And the reason why this is going to be um, a dangerous movement is because these people are trying to travel a far distance on a bootleg fishing boat. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like, you know, you're not really supposed to travel long distances like on a boat like this. This is a real simple boat. So it's going to be a dangerous process. It's definitely going to be a dangerous movement. You know what I mean? It's going to be hectic. It's going to be trials and tribulations for the both of them. But, I mean, completion is going to happen. That's the good news with this. You know what I mean? Completion is going to happen. Because this was like the clarifier for like, what's the good news? The good news is that, yeah, justice is coming into this situation. Justice isn't nice. You know what I mean? But justice get things done. You know what I mean? Not just that. The good news relates to this restriction and bondage with this devil. There's going to be some release here. That's good. Also movement. And you see? Movement. <laughs> so, I mean, very good deep energies. Guys, definitely tell me what you thought of this reading. I enjoyed it. It was very insightful. You know what I mean? I love hearing you guys' opinions. Also, if you would like to have a reading with me, how to go about that will be in the description box. There go my email. My rates are in the description box as well. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people email me like, yo, what are your rates? And I'm like, dude, it's in the description box. <laughs> but yeah, take care, guys.